Hello, welcome to Spread Book Joy. This is part two of my reading ramble. I'll leave a link to part one. Um, I started reading ramble, my first part I talked about books I've been reading, not reading, why I've not been here for a while, and I did a book haul. And this part is mostly what's cheering me up right now, which I started in part one. And I finish up by talking about what I managed to read over the weekend. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I think it stands all right on its own as well. So I don't think you need to watch part one if you haven't. So if you're interested in some of the things cheering me up, I hope you enjoy the video. This book just turned up as well. I saw this over on Reading Rituals. Um, Alexandra, she's Parisian and booktuber and she does the most beautiful, stunning, vlogs um which i'm really envious of the way she shoots the way she edits her really soothing voice and she had a month april in japan and she promoted the books of ito ogawa and ito ogawa is translated into french most of their books are translated in french but this is the only one i could find translated into english and um there's a really great video i'm going to link it which um alexandra made where she made some food and she talked about this book and it was just so that really cheered me up that was a that was a video that absolutely i'm at the moment i just need calm things i've been watching lots of really calm vlogs and uh, peaceful things just to unwind and try and clear my mind a little bit so things that are cheering me up right now as well are this gorgeous green tea and fig um candle so yes yeah, scents um making sure everything smells really nice has been really calming for me while i've been working and doing stuff um likewise in the morning this beautiful do you see all the lavender inside this face scrub from um lush angels on bare skin it's like lavender chamomile flower and cowlin i can smell it right now and it's just gives me all the feels um so in the morning i use this and i discovered it in the pandemic and i found it just a daily source of calm for me um i don't think it's a smell that everyone will necessarily love immediately but yeah now it just makes me think of calm quiet mornings and mornings are just my time so in the morning the other thing that's showing me right up is um here are my journals and this i finally got myself a stamp set an alphabet stamp set for journaling and i absolutely love it this is just the basic one off of amazon so i've got that and some um archival ink so that it's like archive quality um my various bits of washi tape and in the morning i will put on usually put on my diffuser the peppermint and lavender oil in the morning and i will get my journal out so this is my um, bullet journal and yeah this is a quote from Anne of Green Gables which came on um, a card from the Crow Emporium I just loved it so I thought you know what this year I really want to be joyous and I really want to notice all the good things in the world and be grateful for them so you know it's part of my self-care routine to think about things that I'm grateful for so yeah I uh, get up and I'll do some journaling in that I use my stamps to make my journal pretty I can show you the one that the stamps that I've used how I've used it in my book journal which the book journal I'll be quite honest haven't really done as much of it as I'd like I did stuff like this quote with the stamp set yeah when I think of all the books still left for me to read I'm certain of further happiness and that thought cheers me up so talking about rituals so I just mentioned Alexandra at Ritual of Reading I realised as I, the older I get I'm very much a kind of ritual and routine person i like i find comfort in the routines the everyday routines and rituals and things that make my day flow smoothly that give me time to have moments of peace and calm um i've worked an awful lot in the last few years on staying uh, emotionally healthy and uh, mentally healthy and it's uh, because such high pressure high stress job uh, teaching is it can really take its toll on you and um, mental health amongst teachers is really poor and I've worked really hard to make sure that my, my physical mental health are better in the last few years than they were because I used to really neglect all of it and yeah one of my things is ritual of making my coffee in the morning I just I was really bad at taking supplements. I'm getting older, I'm a bit more middle-aged and supplements are really good for you. Uh, but I was really bad at taking them. And then I read um, about habits, uh, what's it called, atomic habits, 
by James Clear, which is a great book. I've mentioned it before on this channel, but uh, he talks about habit stacking. So if you've got a habit that you are forgetting to do, that it's quite simple to just stack it with something you always do. And I will always want to make coffee in the morning. And my coffee has become quite a ritual. Um, so I don't have a gooseneck. Um, I really need to get a gooseneck kettle um, so that I can do this properly, but I'll, I just love the noise. You can hear it, I'll bring it over. The noise of the um, the drip coffee as it goes through. Oh, I can smell it. I just smell, um, I'm really kind of sensory. So I've got my nice drip coffee going on. The noise of the coffee dripping in, I just love that in the morning. It's quiet and peaceful, the smell of the coffee. And then, yeah, also um, my cosy, it's, it's spring here in the UK and spring is, if it's not blazing sunshine, which is lovely when it is, then it's freezing cold. So the minute you go into a bit of shade, it's freezing. So having lots of cosy layers and again, I'm very sensory. So my clothes have to be really, really comfortable now. I, when I was younger, I didn't mind having clothes that were, um, <laughs> you know, uncomfortable. Who doesn't suffer for fashion when you're younger? But now I just, don't, I can't bear it. So I'm loving these sort of linen dungarees with pockets and really wide legs and then I just sort of layer up with really cozy sweatshirts and stuff so anyway, I'm gonna finish making my coffee and um, yeah ritual has been something that's cheering me up and been really keeping me grounded and yeah it's weird to say cheering me up because it's a calming thing but it's a necessary thing and um, the other thing that's cheering me up I've got my Apple AirPods in. Um, Shelley Swearengen on her What's Cheering Me Up video. I'm sure it's her What's Cheering Me Up video. She talked about her husband, Ted Well, <laughs> who's actually just called Ted, but um, go and watch her videos. You'll see why he's called Ted Well. Um, he bought her Bluetooth headphones and she loves them. And I said, oh my gosh, yeah, my partner did the same for me. He's more tech savvy than I am. And he, for my birthday last year, bought me these Apple AirPods. And oh my gosh, I couldn't live without them now. They are noise cancelling. So when I go on the tube, cancels out that huge noise of the tube. The decibel level on London Underground is too much for people's ears. So it cancels out that noise level. I can listen to like ambient sounds and stuff. I've got this amazing Studio Ghibli 30 minute HBO uh, video on YouTube downloaded to my phone. It's just all these noises, like nature noises and train noises and stuff. Anyway, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. So in the morning when I make my coffee, I'm usually listening to something like that while I make my coffee and after I've had my bath or shower or whatever I'm going to have in the morning. Um, but yeah, that's very important to me and definitely cheering me up. So I just um, emptied my hair. This is my Harry Porter cup. Um, Harry Potter, but it says Harry Porter because it's a cat. And um, it. Uh, the other thing that's really important to me is having a really nice cup to drink out of yeah, in the morning. So I always have either this one, which reminds me of my cat Pedro, uh, dressed up as Harry Potter, which is just everything, pretty much. And um, I've got my, um, I was gonna say Guilty Feminist there, no. It's my um, Spencer's Library mug, reader, cat lady, feminist, and, or my um, David Bowie Starman coffee mug. Um, so these are my morning coffee mugs. I have my bigger cups for drinking tea out of. They always cheer me up. But it's really odd, I don't know. These things just bring me immense joy, having the right cup and um, the right drink in the right cup. I don't know, I think I'm just a real kind of habit driven person. So yeah, and aesthetics, it's aesthetics. And I just, if it's another, I've got loads of other cups, but if it's one of my other cups, I'm just generally not that happy. This one's becoming a little bit chipped and stuff now, and I'm not very happy about that, but I'm, I'm loath to part with it. So I can always just order another one, can't I? And the other thing I wanted to talk to you about or show you about that was cheering me up, it's just all the plants. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just put in some pictures of some of the plants that I've been filming or taking photos of because the sun seems to have gone in in the garden at the moment, where, which is where I'm gonna go and read for today. And um, just reading in the garden, being able to go out in the garden, that's massively cheering me up. But the plants are so beautiful. We've got foxgloves just sprung up at the back of our garden, which are toxic. By the way, um, I don't know if they're toxic for cats as well. Someone's probably going to go, Oh my god, you shouldn't have them out there. But Pedro's lived here for seven years and we've had all of these plants come up before and he's been fine. Um, but yeah, we've got sage which is flowering, we've got thyme which is flowering. I don't know if anyone else has not noticed, but 
we've had a real lack of bees in our garden this year we usually have quite a few like our garden is very bee friendly and Dave and I were saying just yesterday poor old bees that's not cheering me up <laughs> but yeah just the beauty of like spring and general and sunshine and having those things back just has really cheered me up recently um so yeah just the beauty of nature i should have to say it and our garden is looking particularly good our california lilac and our, our cherry blossoms have gone uh, they're done bl blooming for the year and I, they're, they're our first things and they're just gorgeous but the other flowers have started coming up we've got some alliums the lavender has started flowering the thyme i'm going to show you a picture of that that's in full flower at the moment and just so pretty <laughs> Sunday evening and I'm just sitting in the garden and I'm just going to finish off this video by saying that um, another thing making me happy some of the cocktails um, <laughs> this is an Americano which is Campari Martini and soda which is really really nice I found out that um, found discovered this a couple of years ago quite fond of um, Campari so I like the bitterness um, and other things um, all the book groups I've been part of are making me very happy um, and my daily chats with people on Voxer. I've got a really lovely Voxer group um, called Book Waffle. You know who you are on there. And they cheer me up every day as well as, you know, my family and friends, my real life family and friends. Um, in terms of what I've read, not very much. <laughs> I started um, reading this, it's only about 200 pages and I'm just over halfway through. And this is a really lovely book, um, Restaurant of Love Regained. It's a Japanese translation, a really gentle novel. Um, I suppose I can just liken it to a more simple version of Chocolat, like a kind of magical realism almost. Um, a woman opens a restaurant and she's grieving and she cooks these meals for people and she only cooks for one person a night or one group a night and she cooks what she feels they need and their lives change as a result. So yeah, it's nice gentle reading. Um, but yeah, that's all I've managed to read because a friend came over and I spent most of the day with her and yeah I'm grateful for friends and friends are cheering me up right now um, I'm sure there's more that I could talk about that's cheering me up right now but yeah uh, I'm gonna leave this because it's a really long video a lot longer than I intended um, I hope everyone's well and if you like this if you've never been here before maybe consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you again here soon